Hello, hello, hello. My name is Simon and I will be showing you today how to play old or even very old MMO called Plane Shift. It's totally free. You can download it from planeshift.it. It's totally free. There is absolutely no hidden paywalls. You cannot buy anything in this game for real cash. So it's absolutely no meaning and no problems to play absolutely free. And another uh, interesting thing in this game is uh, that one that is uh, quite uh, scarcely um, viewed in any other games, which is uh, option to uh, master all of the player skills and abilities uh, independent of your choices in the game. And one more news is that this game actually is right now under development. It's still quite uh, uh, missing. <sighs> Uh, this game still misses uh, some things uh, and it is now um, translated, moved to Unreal Engine, so uh, game quality will be massively improved. And if you want uh, to view more of this, I will link uh, official PlaneShift YouTube and uh, Twitch channels uh, in the description below of this video. But uh, let's start uh, with new character. Uh, this is my old character with over 300 hours played. So this game is not new for me and I practically return to this game each few years. So it's expanding and it's ha it has new stuff but most efforts of uh, developers are now to move uh, into Unreal Engine so I will tell about this uh, later. Let's create new character if I will be able to click. Okay uh, this is a screen of uh, creation of new character you can choose some basic stuff on this first screen and the uh, next screens will follow. Uh, for start you can select one of few races. Each and every one of them is playable, but uh, some have shared models because this game version didn't get all of those models. There are males and female characters. As you can see, some characters have shared models and some other, like Lemur and uh, Ilian, is same character. And, uh, one thing to note is Ilian. Uh, this is basically human character with most universal uh, stats and female model is not available in this game but it will be available in Unreal Engine and it's very nice model so keep in touch with that. You can enter your first and last name or generate some. It's random. Uh, let's select uh, characters. As you can see, those are quite different and in this uh, species uh, wings doesn't matter, they are not usable, you can't fly with them. Uh, each character has uh, its own advantages and disadvantages and uh, it's not as important. Most important stuff is uh, how do you feel to play 
as uh, one of those special characters like human, dwarf, kind, dwarfish, uh, kind of elves, uh, or this uh, flying uh, stuff, it's Kleros, uh, cat like uh, Enkidukai, Enkidukai and uh, one special tank race of Kran which is more or less uh, uh, made from the stone its um, health is based on silicon not on carbon like all, uh, all other races uh, those characters uh, for example Kran is uh, not very intelligent and it will lack some mana points and intelligence at the beginning of the game Another, on the other hand lemurs are more like magicians and have uh, lower H uh, HP and lower strength parameters on the start Ilian is uh, mostly balanced of those you can choose some facial attributes, hairstyles, bird in terms of male, those colors, e other races can have skin tone selected or kind of fur colors. Uh, let's play with some names. I have prepared earlier template for my character. You can choose quick character and uh, select predefined uh, style of gameplay. But you can get uh, also your advanced stuff and uh, prepare this character exactly as you want. And I will do that exactly as I want and tell about some game settings also uh, where game is uh, going on and uh, how it is played and that will take a few more minutes okay I want to play as a Lemur this little male or female I want to play as a male. There is absolutely nothing to choose from this right now because uh, models are uh, not yet ready for this name. How about name? This name sounds nice. Awad Awadi Savag or something like this. Could be. I don't care about this as much in this tutorial. Let's get uh, to advanced settings. The most important thing to notice here is also uh, character points. Those points will be used to create character abilities in the moment. Yes, I'm sure that I want to select this. Okay, choose your birthday in month of, as you can see, there is uh, 12, 11 month to choose from. Uh, those are based more or less on. Uh, our real calendar so there is ca harvesting month there is winter month uh, with choosing of months uh, you will have some skills and stats of your character changed and you will get some abilities to start with independence of what you choose here let's say 20 4th or 13th oh this is nice 13th quintal of year 750 this is 5th month of the iliacum 
Eliakim is name of this world calendar. It's representative of the winding down of the crops growth and festival planning. Harvest is always a time of celebration and the peoples of Iliacum plan this uh, decadent parties laden with food and gifts, a sign of Taref. The hunter embroids in the speed and the grassy required to hunt game in the wild, as well as being adept with small blades. Taref would tire easily, however, and the limitation is passed on to those born under his sign. So you will have less stamina and you will get some small blade skills and possibly some kind of other advantages. Next you will select number of siblings. Uh, it has uh, influence on your uh, ability uh, of uh, uh, wisdom I think somewhat and charisma so dependent on how many siblings you had known one or many you will have different stats in that model i don't want siblings next you can choose uh, what job uh, was your father and mother doing and if uh, there were uh, usual person, famous or uh, superheroes, more or less in that uh, matter. Uh, better skills of your parents uh, influence more your skills as character, but costs more character points to get. So I want to be my father famous priest of God Talad and my mother as usual architect each uh, job has own description alchemist animal trainer aptecary architect armor smithy artist bartender bowyer brewer butcher cartographer cook farmer fisherman glassblower healer jeweler leader worker librarian lumberjack miller musician octark Politician, Potter, Talad's Priest, Lang's Priest, those are most important gods in this game. Taylor, Teacher, Vagabond, Vigesimi, Weapon Smithy. Some names are unique to this game and other not. Also, you are choosing your own religion here. So, this is not intuitive, but uh, I will need that later in my settings. Each of those choices influence what skills uh, and uh, what abilities your character will have. And as you can see, I've already uh, run about 100 character points to select those. Birth event. What happened when you was born? Each uh, choice has influence on your character. What activity uh, you made when you were uh, a child? What events we have here? Nothing special. You were lost twin. Born in Temple of Langs, born in Temple of Talat, uh, there was Crystal Eclipse, Crystal is uh, son of this world, Thunderstorm, Invasion, Saved by Spell, Attempted Betrayal, uh, Snow and Cold, Inside Cave, Ritual of the Sign, Ravens on your house, uh, Childhood Activity, no special interest, Passion for Gymnast, you played war as a child, Reading and Philosophy, you run with a street gang, collection of insects, minerals, leaves of flowers, math puzzles, enthusiast, singing, playing, painting, invisible friend, hunting small animals, house on the tree, guilty nights on the roofs, producing and selling drinks. Most of these choices have influence on your skills, but some of those also affect your abilities. 
and uh, doesn't matter about uh, what abilities you have because uh, right now you can uh, gain and train all maximum number of uh, abilities and what, no matter what you will do you can have uh, maxed out to 300 points or something like this where do you live as a child uh, what your house was small house large military fortification villages cities choose randomly if you don't want about as you can see I almost uh, have no character points left but I want also here you can choose any number of events of your life each uh, of them influence your abilities and uh, most of them uh, affects your skills so you need to choose wisely of this some uh, I will show you some cost points other give you character points so it may be hard to find whatever you need here but uh, if you choose wisely you can uh, get those points uh, to zero which is best if you left with some points there is a uh, place to improve and start with better skills crystal runner Distinguator apprentice, okay. Cook assistant and bad experience. Lost for four years. Right now I have zero points, but I have more things to select from. Uh, your friend owned some animals. You were a failed politician. And uh, you were a guild spy. Again, I have zero, but if I choose to remove something I have negative number and with negative number I cannot continue I have to have zero character points or more to continue so more or less this is my character build for this tutorial and possibly for my future play and uh, this uh, setup will give me uh, some basic progress in uh, magic of azure way and basic abilities to use knives and daggers mostly but not only yes i'm sure that i want to upload this and now the tutorial part We have some random stuff here going on and I definitely will have to move some stuff around. In top left corner we have basic menu which can be uh, switched off with this gemstone on top left which is covered by logo of my channel. There is communication uh, so chat. Uh, window available if you grab that triangle in corner you can rearrange this a list of friends uh, if you play with someone teamed with you you have group stats information about who is in that 
if you're part of guild you can um, see information about it cost quite a big amount of cash but uh, there will be time that cash is uh, no longer any problem for you here I have some kind of menu which is active spells that are on you right now I will have to rearrange this stats and skills this is my basic uh, tree agility charisma endurance intelligence strength and will those uh, stats and abilities will uh, influence your health points physical stamina so how fast you will be tired mana and mental stamina so uh, how much you will get tired factions is empty right now but uh, after a short while it will uh, fill up with uh, how good or bad your relations to uh, different factions in this game are combat skills those are mostly skills connected to mm, weapon use as you can see there is plenty of choose uh, plenty of them to choose from uh, on the end hand there uh, on the end there is more or less uh, nothing against any of those they are have similar damage abilities some are easier to get other harder uh, and with ranged weapons you need to, to have some arrows but there are also throwing knives and other stuff and uh, there is shield handling if you want to fight with shield uh, this is uh, additional skill to have as you can see i have 12 points of knife and daggers and some experience points going towards next level magic is uh, in the six ways and anti-magic so uh, kind of magic uh, uh, repel effect resistance uh, azure blue brown crystal dark and red ways are uh, turned in the circle and crystal and dark are opposite uh, azure and blue are opposite uh, and brown are opposite blue and red are opposite each uh, of them consists of some uh, kind of uh, specialization for example red is uh, connected to fire uh, crystal is connected to healing and light uh, blue is water brown is earth dark, dark is death uh, they are placed in circles so if you choose any specialization of those ways uh, two uh, ways that are on the same side of circle uh, will support that way and uh, opposites will uh, kinda hinder it but you can uh, learn quite much of uh, each magic way independently and have uh, quite big stats jabs is other skills plenty of them to choose from some are needed to get other ones like if i remember correctly you need to have some uh, herbal to get into uh, alchemy so you need to learn them in specific way sometimes and master one of those skills to get access to another it's quite linear for this and various and another uh, some skills that may or may not be used in uh, special uh, settings of this and sometimes will not be implemented like uh, this skill or climb climbing is not uh, implemented but uh, it may be removed in future but who knows inventory as usual you have this cache here it's tria it's uh, octa 
Uh, I don't remember. Circle is big, each valors 20, uh, 253 as. This is Octa, and the name I don't remember. Actually, anyway, you can have uh, some places in backpack, but it's limited with uh, volume and wave capacity of your character. Quest list, if you have an uh, information about quest, they will be listed here. Spell book, you will get glyphs that you can uh, research to get spells and then you can cast spells. Attack books, uh, in time you will get some additional types of attack uh, with your weapons, not only basic ones. This will be needed for me. This is uh, basic uh, use and fast use. Mm, and also your basic stat information, so it may be needed to have. Also there is option to customize this fast bar. This also is needed, but I want this on the side. This will, uh, in this, will, oh, there is hidden. In this you will choose how aggressive your attacks are. Very aggressive, but uh, easy to hit you, or very defensive, uh, very hard to hit you, but you are uh, almost uh, will not hit anyone. So let's keep it on the top. Mm, active spells are there. Options of game, you can choose your so, uh, basic stuff here. Also interface, chat. Some basic settings, I will not go through them. Petitions, if you want to send to game masters anything. Short help, which is information about gameplay, but there is not everything and uh, Gravestone is quitting game. Welcome to the plane shift. If you see this screen, it means you have successfully created a character and successfully logged into game for the first time. Congratulations! Always look out for the golden man icons. It will be somewhere visible. As they will teach you how to play and help uh, you learn new features as you gain access to them. At any time you can review those tips by clicking help in the top top bar reading start here section. Menu set windows at the top of the game screen you have a series of 16 I icons which you can use to access your various functions in game which I described in moment before. All icons can be active or inactive, click one to make it active, click again to de deactivate it. And there is the description of those. To proceed close this window with the red X on the top border then click on the ground and press W key to move forward. Golden man icon appear on the bottom of the screen. Click on the golden man icon and new tutorial window will appear. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is uh, point and click in part. And uh, w, -A -A w S A D will turn you around, move you forward and backward. This golden man is button click that will open new tutorial. You can move around by pressing the keys W forward, S backward, A rotate left, D rotate right. Of this window a bit to the side of the screen so you will be able to better see your character. Without closing this window, practice moving by using uh, A, W, S, D keys. You now have practiced basic movements. Here are a few more. Press the spice bar and you will see your character jumping. Now hold down the left shift key when moving, I will see your character running forward or not. It's currently an opposite way, so if you press shift, character will walk and not run. 
sometimes better to walk because it's uh, more tiring. If you want to look around, press middle mouse button or tab key. So I pressed tab and I can now moving mo move, your, move my mouse to look around. Also when I press middle mouse button I can same do same stuff. You can change the point of view by pressing M. Free movement. Dynamic follow, free rotation. First person, third person. To proceed, now we know the basic. Controls press approach Abelia, the lady with the long hair you see in the front of you near the house and all the cooking equipment and left click on her. You will see a red marker appearing under her and the new golden man icon will appear with your next tutorial step. Arena, guards, library announcement and culture of the dawn. There is on the right side what is there. Hidla will come board. Hidla is the map and Hidla main map. When you right click on left click an NPC or player that is called targeting. A red marker will appear under the selected entity. Left clicking just select the character white. Right clicking opens up a new menu with actions you can choose. Without closing this widow, try to right click the character you are just approached. A set of icons will appear including GIF, descriptions and talk. The red X icon just cancels your right click selection. Like nothing more, so no actions will be performed on the character. You can also right click and select yourself and choose examine. To proceed, click next golden man. This is your description. So you can edit this in the future if you click on yourself and click that description. I need smaller chat. Hello Abelia. Let's talk. Yes. This is the option you need to click to start the quest. Okay another golden man. To talk to any NPC, target them and the right click to select the mouth icon. The NPC will display rounded bubbles on top of their head. A series of dialogues bubbles will display with all the available options you have to speak with them. You need to click on those in order to say the text within them. There is also a free text bubble which you can use to type questions to NPCs. Like today, there, there is buy, this is give items, and uh, a very welcome quest. The rounded bubbles are the ones you can use to speak. You can click on the bubble to type on the text on the empty bubble. The NPC will then answer with another bubble uh, with straight borders. All text also recorded with chat window in the NPC tab. You can review their, uh, it there anytime. You can also ask common questions to NPC like hello, how are you and who are you. While speaking to NPC you should try to use natural language as if you were speaking to a player while keeping your phrases simple. So the question like quest doesn't mean anything. If you want to ask for a quest you should say give me a quest or something similar. To proceed speak to Abelia and start the first tutorial quest after this one you can do the others in any order you wish. If you would like to skip the tutorial and enter the main game, then speak to Xenak uh, at the nearby gate. You can always come back into this area at any point and do this quest later. Yes, that's true, you can get back into the tutorial area and finish this. Hello. Abelia places her broom against the table. I didn't get enough time to re read that. Abelia Rin places her broom against the table and dusts her hands on her apron to help compose herself before 
smiling at you. Why, yes, yet it is. And welcome to Hydla, the central and main city on the top level of Liakum. I've been told to say hello to all new people I see around here. Apparently there have been attacks coming from the stone labyrinths recently and lots of people fled this way. You can speed up bubbles by clicking on them. Okay. I didn't see any more people. I will get some food. Let's open inventory. I have some useful stuff in inventory. It will be... Ah, oh, it fits perfectly here. Okay. So there is bread. There is some potion of healing. Some sack and water pouch. Honey dough. And cinnamon apple slices. To eat, use. Uh, I right clicked and it opened this menu. So I can drag to character to eat this. So I could learn to cook. You can cook or bake already or want to learn more. I would go and see your med in the main tavern. Where is this chat? Yomed in the main tavern in Hydla. You can visit him once you get through the gate behind Xenak in the main city. Yomed is the starting point of the cooking association here in Hydla and will help you get started. And while you are here, you should talk to Alelia. She is full of all sorts of gossip and interesting information. And some more information. What are bronze doors? What character looks? Where is quest information? Here is quest information. Abelia's welcome. Some basic information about this quest is here. Okay. There are more cities available. I will skip this. ton of reading and I don't want to read I want to get back used to what choices I want I can go to Xenact and leave and you can talk to some others here I want to talk to others Okay, no more things to say. So shame. Hmm. Who else lives here? This is player. Hmm. 
because it has green. Hello, Nev. I have something for you. Lunch pack. Let's skip, skip, skip. I need a Hornquist. I love to try. Perfect. Step up to furnace behind me and then pop one or at the time inside. Just wait. Okay. For now, bye. This is furnace. Let I can examine it and it is container. Then I can grab this and put it here. One by one. And we need to wait some time for this. Also, where is my skill list? It will be in jobs. It will be in blacksmith or met metallurgy it will be. You need to put this in the furnace and wait. work Yay. it melted Here is the molten ore. I need to give it manually. This is my inventory and this is exchange of... And it didn't work. One or accept trade. <laughs> There's a giant heart on top of your ores.
Aren't stuck to another person. Can I cast without book? No, unfortunately. Did I learn something? Uh, don't seems. Okay, let's find another person. Here we have some warrior and some weapons to choose. Axes, shield, bows, arrows, swords, knives, daggers. This is dagger, attack delay 1.5, damage slash 1.5, and knife, damage is little less, attack delay is same, but damage is little lower than that. Where is our NPC? So what do you hear here? He will train us to use our weapons do you have any suggestion what I should use Right click him, pick tag icon and write name of the weapon you want in text. I want dogger, so you want to use my blade, do you? I think it best used to you. How's your simple dagger? Okay. Right now it's bye bye. Uh, there are combat styles. I need to equip dagger. So it's already in my hand here. And here are the rats. There's those are stats of this particular rat on the right side. I can attack, trade, sell, buy, loot. I want to kill you. Attack. Jab. Killed. Loot, rat hide, take all, please. Hooray! Let's talk. I killed rat, and this is hide for you. And the more. Okay. I don't remember shortcuts for this. There is shortcut for starting 
Take all. And kill. Yay! And take all that loot. More! And I get some coins for this. I don't have more hides. I need one more at least. Mm, no. What was shortcut for attacking? I have no idea, but we can ch check this out with keys for the rotate movement, auto move, sneak, seat, camera, toggle chat, spell, book, bag, body, quit, bicel, trade, start attack 4. Number 4 is start attack. I've turned off my running by mistake. What a shame. Job! And another rat is killed. Six. Rat hide. Okay. How is auto run? There should be auto run, toggle mouse look, mouse look, center camera, jump seat, auto move, sneak, right shift, toggle run, left control, okay. I better like this. Let's talk, here is another rat hide. New combat move is available. Magic. Magic is nice. Okay, bye bye. And here we have special attacks or attacks which can be used with certain with certain weapons on top of your normal attacks. Uh, we have this here, no this is... or not. Attacks are in the attack book where is i have no attacks here yet once you have unlocked a special attack equip a sword axe or hammer and then open the attack book i don't have those skip let's find another one shall we Here is Orfia Eldri. Let's talk. Hello. <laughs> I am new one of new arrivals. Yes. 
Can you teach me about the ways or artifacts? Yes. Where is that apple? to do to pick at item right click and select the hand icon the item will be placed in your inventory I don't have this now pick up thank you here's the apple good Watch it carefully because now that told hold the apple in the air, the magic seems unhappy if the apple is taken away. Seems that it creates another apple instead to make up for this. Okay, I think I can learn from you. What way do you want? Crystal dark, red, blue, brown and azure. to learn Azure way. It's the magic of the air and the mind which might find yourself able to eventually influence other. Or you can cause apples to levitate. <laughs> it's opposite to brown way. So these two should not be mixed. I've made my choice. Azure way. It's a good enough choice. Of course, all choices are good. Always are worth the time to learn about. Yes, of course. And not only. Uh, we were get the glyph so we need to open our spell book and uh, not this research tree as you can see there is choice of those we need to purify the glyph I think I need to read this In the toolbar open the spellbook, then click the research magic. You must now purify the glyph you created. To do this click to pick it up and drop into purify icon. Okay. It's glowing in the back, so it's now purified. Once purified you should see a new background behind the glyph icon. To research a spell, place the glyph in the first of the four assemble slots, then click research magic button. This and this. We have our spell here. Once you have found the spell, 
will appear in your spellbook. To cast you need to pick a target for an attack spell and click spell name to cast. Okay. The sorcerer produces some powerful gust of wind around himself so it's harder to attack. Let's cast on myself. Yo! And here we have our spell icon that is active on ourselves. And it will work for a few moments. Where can I learn more? I will speak to Lebrus. Okay. Quest completed. Bye. Okay, skill tree. Where is skill tree? Once again, we have the magic here. And we have Azure Wave 15. We can cast this again on ourselves. As you can see here, mana is used, but there is little bit of experience gained after each cast. It goes green. And e as in almost all MMOs, there will be ton of casting needed to get anything. We are getting more and more. Better spells will eat more mana and to get them we need to have some more glyphs. Mana is ending. Definitely we'll need better fast use bar. Okay, that's enough. What else is here? There is nothing more here. Hmm. There we have some stairs. And there is a musician. That's correct or not? And there is entrance to sewers. Hello, girl! Small shop. I can get by sell from Merchants. We can learn some music here. Thank you for the information. More about role playing. I want to be a mage, probably. Quest completed. Bye. Can we trade? 
gift box basic music I will I can get something from you later I don't need it right now what else we have here Enki Dukai I think that's everything here and what else we have here actually we don't have any more stuff here probably do we have any quest left no we don't have currently any quests left so we can assume that we finished where is our spell book? Can I cast this on the rat? Or only self casted it is? I assume it's self-casted. I have a drum. Jab. I probably could sell this somewhere. Can I have more daggers? Probably I can have two daggers in my both hands. I want to sell. No, there is nothing to sell here. Let's get back to that girl. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Can I sell you something? No, I cannot sell you nothing. So let's use this drum. How can I use this to play? I better want this sword here. Jump, 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 jump. Um, so I think that we'll be waiting here now. And how about you? Can I sell you something? If I put this here, I cannot use that container for cooking yet. Okay, I can't trade with you either. Okay, so does not matter. This is map of Hidlab Training Center. Murago, you're dead? No, I know where it is. It's Hidla East. Um, we have some books to read here. Now, about this. No. 
I am not interested in this also. How about this guard's tension? No. And this is arena. We can train there. And there is basic map with some totally basic information about uh, where are some basic stuff hidden here and what is this warning okay let's exit but <laughs> someone <laughs> put book on his face okay let me out thank you Plum loading so I will show you few basic places here in the city or not I will go drink something and then I'll show you some basic places here keep in touch and see you in the next episode